What are the top stocks to buy in August of 2020? Consider this the secret list of stocks that are not getting the headlines, but that are making people rich that know how to play them. This list of stocks took a lot of research and all of these stocks have really good PE ratios and a good earnings track history. I hope you watch the video all the way through so you can see the full fundamental analysis. And at the end, I'll tell you how to play my top four picks. So grab a cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's get to know the top 10 stocks we're covering today. These images are from my free tools at jerryromine.com where in a matter of minutes you are taught proper risk management, how to research stocks, how and when to exit trades, and given a free stock portfolio with your custom trading plan. All fast and free. Check it out. Our first stock is CNX Midstream, ticker CNXM, and this is a master limited partnership which operates natural gas gathering and midstream energy assets in Pennsylvania and West Virginia. Number two is DLEC Logistics Partners, ticker DKL, and they operate as a logistics and marketing assets for crude oil and refined product. The company operates through two segments, pipelines and transportation, and wholesale, marketing, and terminaling. Number three is Noble Midstream Partners, ticker NBLX, and they operate a domestic midstream infrastructure assets specializing in gathering systems, freshwater delivery, investments in midstream entities, and corporate. Number four is One Main Holdings, ticker OMF, and they're a consumer finance company which provides underwriting and servicing of personal loans, primarily to non-prime customers. Number five is Middleby Corporation, ticker MIDD, and they manufacture cooking equipment, industrial processing equipment, and residential appliances. Number six is Enable Midstream Partners, ticker ENBL, and they operate natural gas and crude oil infrastructure assets serving major producing basins and markets. It operates in two segments, gathering and processing and transportation and storage. Number seven is Renewable Energy Group, ticker REGI, and they produce biofuels and renewable chemicals in the U.S., Number eight is Generic Holdings, ticker GNRC, and they're a manufacturer of backup power generation products serving residential, light commercial, and industrial markets. Number nine is Emergent Biosolutions, ticker EVS, and they're an American biopharmaceutical company that develops vaccines and antibody therapeutics for infectious diseases and provides medical devices for biodefense purposes. And number 10 is Serence, ticker CRNC, and they build automotive assistance solutions to power interactions between automobiles, drivers, and passengers, as well as the digital world. CRNC also engages in the sale of software licenses and cloud-connected services. These are definitely the hottest stocks of the month with a PE ratio below 50, and the first thing I notice is that five of these stocks are in the oil, gas, and consumable fuels industry. When the gold stocks were getting hot a few months back, I noticed the same type of trend. Gold stocks have just turned down and it is normal for sectors to go hot and cold. Just something you might want to think about. This next section is going to be fast paced and cover a lot of fundamental analysis data. And if you are new to my channel, you should watch my video, How to Analyze Stocks, which will teach you fundamental analysis in a fast and easy way. The link to that video is in the description below. Welcome to the awesome Beast Mode Stock Analysis. Today we're going over the top stocks for August. And at the top, we've got our ticker symbols. Underneath that, we have the stock name. And then we also have the industry. And remember, I just mentioned that five of them are in the oil, gas, and consumable fuel sector. This is where you can see what sector they're in. And anytime you see a lot of stocks coming up on a search like this, it's a good indication that you might want to watch that sector because stuff is definitely happening in it. Now, there's always a lot of data here, and I encourage you to pause this to go over everything in detail. We're just going to hit the highlights today. The return over one month for CNXM is 58%. DKL, 43%, NBLX, 38%, OMF, 40%, MIDD, 40%, ENBL, 30%, REGI, 60%, GNRC, 29%, EBS, 29%, and CRNC at 25%. We can also see that two of these stocks, EBS and CRNC, were down a little bit in the last week, 9% and 10%, and we'll talk about that more later on. Earnings and growth tells us whether or not a company is making money, and I like to start with the P-E ratio, and ideally I like to keep that below 20 for long-term investments, and that's because the S&P 500 average is typically 13 to 15. Today, our average P-E ratio is 17. We've got a low of 2.72, and it looks like our high is 41.34 for GNRC. Revenue growth is something that I like to look at, and our winner in this category is EBS at 
percent. I also always like to look at the levered free cash flow and this measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money operated through current operations. The higher that number, the better. So all of these are looking pretty good with the one exception of CNXM, which is in the negative and OMF, which we do not have data on. Dividends I'll always consider to be a bonus while you're investing in a good company. And when I look at the dividends today, it's like, holy cow, what the heck is going on here? We've got CNXM. NXM and they're showing a dividend yield of 20.92%. When I see a number that big, I always have to verify it to make sure it's real and we'll cover that more later on in this video. DKL is coming in nice with an 11% dividend, NBLX at 7.61%, OMF at 4.3%, and ENBL at 11.42%. And again, these are really nice dividends on companies with a low PE ratio. So that's something that you might want to get excited about. The financials tell us whether or not a company runs on good margins. And the nice thing about subscribing to my channel is you get spoon fed some really good companies because of the research I do. So if you look at the operating margin, we want it to come in at above 10%. And that's because the S&P 500 average is about 10.8%. So anything above 10% is good. Anything below 10% is subpar. The average on these today is 28%. Our winner is CNXM at 68.5%. But all of these guys are coming in really strong and well above that 10%. The balance sheet tells us whether or not a company is financially stable and I always like to look at the total assets versus total liabilities or what I call the tattle ratio because it tattles on the company's overall financial strength. Ideally we like that number to come in at two or higher and that would just mean they have twice the assets to the liabilities and if the number is in red that's a big red flag. So for DKL which is why I have it marked in red here we can see that their total assets are 974 million and their total liabilities are 1.052 billion giving them a tattle ratio of 0.926. So anything below a one on the tattle ratio is not a good sign, so I've ruled them out. And you can see where everybody else is coming in. We have some really strong ones. REGI at 4.638, EBS at 1.946, CRNC at 2.285. And now a favorite section for fundamental investors is profitability and fundamentally strong companies will show well here. The bigger the numbers, the better. We can see our winner right now is REGI coming in with a lot of blue, which just means they're the best in each of the different categories. And then for the net income margin, our overall winner is CNXM at an impressive and whopping 54.07%. Now we're moving into phase two of the beast mode analysis where we look at valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment. Everything here is subjective. And the first thing I notice is the Peter Lynch estimator is hitting on a lot of different stocks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different hits out of 10. And you don't see that very often, but it will happen when you have a lot of lower PE ratios. And that's because the companies have really good earnings. And that's what's happening here today. So this is something that definitely gets my attention. Next, we're going to look at the estimator intrinsic value and whenever possible I like to buy below that value and if the number is in purple it means the stock is below that price so for CNXM they're currently trading at 956 and the estimated intrinsic value is 1157 DKHL 3270 estimated intrinsic value 3405 OMF is 3072 intrinsic value 3369 and CRNC is trading at 48.69 and the estimated intrinsic value is 57.89. And just like the intrinsic value, the analyst price targets helps us see where the analysts think the stock is going. And if the number is in purple, it means the stock price is lower. So we have six different stocks where the analyst target price is above the current price. And the one with the biggest difference would be OMF. It's currently trading at 30.72. The analyst target mean price is 37.71 and that gives it an analyst upside percentage of 22.34. The analyst recommendations can be very helpful and we can look at the buy, hold, and sell recommendations. OMF is coming in with nine buy recommendations, GNRC with seven, and EBS with five. But I also like to look at the percentage of buy recommendations and this breaks it down as a percentage and that's just another way of looking at these different stocks. The next thing I noticed today is the book value per share and fundamental investors love this because book value is a key measure that investors use to gauge a stock's valuation. The book value of a company is the total value of a company's assets minus the company's outstanding liabilities. When a stock is undervalued, it will have a higher book value per share in relation to its current stock price in the market. So we've got a hit on ENBL, Enable Midstream. 
The stock's current price is $5.79 and the book value per share is $15.91, giving it a book value ratio of 2.75. And our last stop today is the Piotrowski score. And this helps to find companies with a healthy liquid balance sheet, profitability, and operating efficiency. Ideally, we want that number to come in at five or above. And most of the stocks are coming in strong. We do have a few fours. And we also have one eight, which is exceptionally strong for EBS. If you appreciate this content and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe, like, and give me some YouTube love. I also have a Patreon page where Patreons receive the full Beast Mode spreadsheet analysis, including a special bonus section to make you a better investor. If you're interested in that, it's only 20 bucks a month and you can check it out here. If you want a copy of my Beast Mode spreadsheet, it's available on my Patreon page and there's a special bonus section with valuable information just for Patreons. The cost is only $20 per month and it's packed with value to help make you a better investor. And if you've not already received your two free Weeble stocks valued at up to $1,400, what are you waiting for? Check it out. If you have not already, make sure you sign up for Weeble to get a free stock worth up to $1,400. Weeble is much more than a free stock trading app. And I have a free tutorial video on Weeble that's so good, Weeble actually called me after viewing it. Both the promo and Weeble tutorial link are in the description below. Here are my top four picks for today. And just because a stock doesn't make my top four list, it doesn't mean it's not a great stock and it's not worthy of your consideration. My number one pick is CNX Midstream Partners, and we can see that the analysts give it a moderate sell rating. So let me explain the pick and why I've got it here. The dividend yield is 20.9%, and it's got a 54% net income margin. Here you can see I've confirmed the dividend yield is real and that it has a confirmed history of paying these dividends. This is a swing trade, and it's definitely not for everyone. The financials on this company are good, and the stock goes up and down in cycles. It's currently in a high cycle, and I expect it will pull back soon. I'm adding this to my watch list, but this is not a stock that I would buy right now. My second pick is Emergent Biosolutions, ticker EBS, and it's currently rated as a strong buy. EBS is dropping after a big run-up. The revenue growth is 44%. The return over three months is 93%. And the net income margin is 13.52%. And the LNR indicator is 72.31%. Watch this stock for a good buying opportunity. My third pick is Renewable Energy, ticker REGI, and it's currently rated as a strong buy. The return over three months has been 35%. The net income margin is 18.97%, and my LNR indicator is 44.95%. This stock is on a breakout, and it's a watch only for me at this time. It needs to pull back or consolidate before I buy, and this is a good stock to swing trade because it goes up and down frequently. And my number four pick is Generic Holdings, ticker GNRC. It's currently rated as a strong buy. The return over three months has been 45%. The net income margin is 11.55%. And my LNR indicator is 30.79%. This is the best stock to consider for long-term investors. And you can look at the upward channel that it's been in for some time. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to like this video and also check out my free tools at jerryromine.com. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video.